The Unified G4 dome camera, apparently it's vandal proof. So welcome to the Australian bush. <laughs> Noisy birdies, but it is what it is. Um, in this video, I'm gonna install this G4 dome camera from Unified that they kindly sent to me. This um, is a di bit of a different camera. So it integrates with Protect like all the other cameras, but allegedly it's vandal proof. Yes, I know, I hadn't really heard of that before either, but there's a rating for that. This is an IK08 rated vandal proof housing. So IK08, I think it stands for impact kinetic rating. So basically, you know, throwing things at it or dropping on it. So this has 08 as the rating, which means that it's uh, rated to a 1.7 kilogram object dropped on it from 30 centimeters, so about a foot. Yeah, so I'm actually not gonna drop anything on it, but I think it's interesting and we'll have a bit closer look at the housing to see what it is. But I'm gonna you know, install it right here on the carport pointing this way, where the driveway is. Uh, a sort of an extra angle that I don't have covered with cameras because we have a lot of people coming in and out. Farm people, guests for the uh, Airbnb that we're running, all sorts. So I just want to make sure that we sort of, you know, not protected, but at least we can just keep an eye on things and make sure the guests are all right. Basically, that's it. So um, that's the Unify Protect. It's powered by PoE. So I'm going to have to drag some cables from my um, Unify Industrial switch that I, I'll link to there in the video. And, uh, and that's it. So we'll just have a look at what's in the box and then get into basically installing it with lots of LAN cables. Well, one. All right, let's have a look at what's actually in the box. So I'll just take the lid off here like normal. So we have just the unit really. So this is the vandal proof casing you can see there. That is apparently so you can drop stuff on it, you can throw things at it and still won't do anything. So that thing there, um, obviously there's the weatherproof encasing on the back here. So there's a little grommet there and that's in there goes the PoE plug. There we go, just focus on you, like that. And just to plug it in. Oh look, birdies, hi birdies. And, um, and that's it. So I'm gonna try and install that. What else is in the box? In here. Oh, of course, there's a template. We're probably going to use that because what we're drilling it into or installing it into is a little bit soft or, or not hard, hard wood or, or cladding. So we might need that. There's uh, a little bit of a some marketing material. Of course, we need marketing material. Here's your template for installing it with um, the, the spirit level if you need that. And of course, there's the usual security uh, latch here, for so you just don't, can't just take it off the roof. And there's some screws. That's it. That's all there is to it. So um, let's go and figure out how to drag some cable. So the cable's now all the way from the uh, industrial switch all the way to about just here in the roof space. So the next step is to, uh, to drill holes in this and mount the, the actual camera. But I just want to talk a little bit more about the camera. So now I've got it out of the box. Um, it's fairly heavy, 370 grams, so like a third of a kilo. Um, and it's like this aluminium alloy kind of thing, composite or something. It's, it's really, it's, it feels, you know, durable, which obviously it's vandal proof, it should be. Um, now, if you want to adjust the lens, I wasn't sure if it was done through the software, but 
you have to take this lens cap off like this. You just turn it, you take the lens cap off, and then you adjust the camera manually in here. You actually tilt it and you pan it uh, manually. So that, I'm gonna try and just kind of guess where it goes when I put it on, otherwise I'll have to adjust it later and take it off. But you can just take this off, by the way. You don't need to actually uh, you know, take it off the mount or anything. So this needs to be out of reach of anyone otherwise you can just screw that off and just move the camera so i thought you would have to un, you know release it from the inside or something but no no so that bit is not that vandal proof i guess um but anyway so it comes with this nice template which is actually really cool i haven't seen this before it might have been in other products from unify but i'm not sure it's a sticky bit so it's just like a sticker and it gives you the full template of all the holes that you need to, to drill so i'm gonna put that in Somewhere over here, it says to put it 60 centimeters from the edge, but I'm going to put it a bit closer because otherwise it's just going to hit that post, the camera. I'm just going to see a post, which is pointless. So I'm going to put it about there, roughly, and then try and adjust it from that. So I'm going to use the template, which is neat. And next, um, in a minute, thanks to the editing, we'll, um, we'll plug it in when the cable comes through and we'll see how it all works in the software. But first, let's install it. So the bracket is on, so on top there's like a metal disc that I showed you before in the box. That's now on top of the roof panel here, and underneath is the bracket that goes um, onto the camera. So now I've got to obviously get the LAN cable through. There's this big rubber grommet here, which is weatherproof because this is outdoor rated IPX4. And so that has to come in through here. This is always it's what I call the Ace Ventura moment. Yep. If you don't get it, Google Ace Ventura, Ace Ventura Rhinoceros, <laughs> or don't. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get the grommet through here. There we go. It's a little bit tricky, but it's supposed to be weatherproof, right? So it's supposed to be difficult. So, all right, so that's on. It's on there, which means we can now clip this in to that. And make sure that the, the plug that you have doesn't have a cover on it. Or it's one of those rigid ones at the end because they won't, they just don't go in as nicely. So even though this looks a bit naff, that's how it's supposed to be. So we'll add that in here, like that. Put the grommet back in, like that, just to keep it all nice and tight. And then we try and see if I can remember how to do this, like that. And we can, oh, come on, this is always the fun bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, and that's now on. Now, I can turn both this, this bit here turns, so you see the whole housing turns, as well as I can obviously take that plastic cover off and then turn the camera as well. But for now, I'm gonna leave it about roughly sort of there. We'll see how that looks when we actually connect it. Um, but that's all connected up to, oh, I can see I've messed up the grommet here a bit. Okay, I'll fix that in a minute, but yeah, make sure that rubber grommet is tight. Mm -hmm. So now I can plug it into the industrial switch and then we'll see in the controller, the network controller, uh, so protect on the UDM Pro, how that looks. So this is the uh, dashboard for Unify Protect and you can see here's all the other cameras that are currently installed. So if I go to the list of cameras, which is on the left hand menu here, Unify Devices, uh, yeah, not cameras, devices because there's two floodlights as well. Anyway, the G4 Dome is here and it's ready to be added or ready to be adopted. So you just simply click Adopt Device. That is all you need to do. It will then uh, put it into the system. It'll adopt it essentially, but it'll also update it like it's doing now. It'll put the latest firmware on it so that it is up to date, just like all the other cameras. Now you can see that the angle here is a little bit weird. Now the, it is on an angle as I, uh, you know, it, where I installed it, but we also live on a hill. So everything is a bit of an angle, but I'm just going to adjust it here. As you can tell, there's my hand etc and there's the driveway so that's an okay image i can kind of see who is coming and going there uh, and that's the that's the idea so okay camera is installed so what does it actually do what are the options that we have for this camera and it's very similar to the other cameras in the unify protect range especially the g4 range 
So here's recording mode. I can actually put a schedule in, which I haven't done with any of my cameras. I just have them recording all the time, but you can have a recording schedule if you just want it at certain times. You can record the quality. So again, 24 frames per second and image quality, you know, better or lower. I tend to drill them down just a little bit, you know, dial them down just a little bit because I don't need super high quality and it takes up a lot more space on the hard drive. And then there's motion detection settings and there's motion zones. I usually just adjust the motion zones for new cameras because something like trees, yes, you can sort of adjust how much motion triggers a motion event, but um, I also don't want to have trees trigger them all the time. So I tend to sort of eliminate the tree range if there is one, something like that. Or if there's a busy road, I don't need to know about the road either. So I'll just change the uh, motion zone there. Then we have smart detections, which are on, and I usually put vehicle detection on as well, because we do have, as I said before, a lot of people going in and out on, um, in vehicles. Then there's, um, what else we can just apply the changes here. Like so, and then if we go to settings, I always name them. So we're gonna call this one Carport 2, because I already have a Carport camera, so Carport 2. And then there's the sensitivity, like the, uh, you know, how sensitive do you want the, the microphone, microphone to be? How much do you want it to pick up? I usually just leave it at 100. And then you, what you want the overlay to be, I always do time and camera name. I don't really care about the logo or the bid rate. I just want to know which camera I'm looking at and what time. And then there's some other advanced here for streaming. So if you use it like I do with uh, Llama Cam, I use the RTSP, RTPS protocol. It's hard to say. Uh, so you need to enable that if you want the camera to spit out the RTPS protocol and a URL for that. But that's it. That's all there is to the camera in Unify Protect. So that's it, the Unify G4 Dome camera um, sitting there, up there. So now the, the roof is a little bit of an angle, so it is going to be a little bit of an angle of the image, but that's okay, I can live with that. Other than that, easy to install. Um, I kind of like that it's chunky. I'm not sure if it's vandal proof though. I'm not so sure, but obviously it's been tested for impact. So if you throw stuff at it or something, I'm guessing. Now I would recommend having it out of arm's reach like any other camera, because otherwise you can just change the, you can still move the, the lens on it and you can you know, pan it. But it's pretty neat. Um, it has 4K uh, resolution, so that's pretty good. And you can, yeah, it does. Correct me if I'm wrong, I can't remember now. <laughs> but it runs at 24 frames per second. So it's really high quality camera. Um, and it seems to deal well with sunlight as well so far to what I've been able to see as I was testing it when I set it up. If you like this video, please subscribe down there somewhere. Um, give me a comment on if you've used them or if you have other questions about them, or something I've missed, something I misunderstood. Happy to be wrong. Uh, but put it in the comment and like the video and do all those things. So. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.